out. Now, a few of you guys have requested me to have a little bit of a go at this. It combines building with a nice sort of car shooter. And one of my first games that I ever played was Interstate 76, and that was a game very similar to this without the car building, but you mounted weapons on your car and you kind of just went for this post apocalyptic Mad Max crazy setting. Anyway, I'll show you what the vehicles I've been building are on what they do. So we've got the recon buggy here, lightly armored but very fast. We've got a 20mm cannon on the top, as well as a medium machine gun. If I test drive this quickly, the idea with this is we've got quite a high speed we can get to the target very fast and we can actually engage it rapidly with the 20 millimeter doing lots of damage and hopefully avoiding their fire at the same time so as you can see i'm going to be spinning around the target putting a lot of fire down and when i want to i can just get out of there and i should be able to outrun much of the slower and the sort of worse off craft but i'll show you the other one now this one is a little bit of a heavier sort of build we've built it and based it on a sort of truck design i've got two twin mounted rocket launchers in the hull and in the back i actually have a turret that deploys so if i take this for a little test drive you can see how slow it is but the turning circle is still quite good since all the wheels are turning and then you've got to line up the rockets on the front you can unleash them with two like so so we can do a lot of damage at once and then once we've got into a position we can release the turret that will continue doing damage to the target so in this case it's firing its automatic cannon at that one and then we can give it a little bit of support by firing some more rockets and doing a lot of the critical damage to the target as well. Hopefully, these two designs will prove themselves, but we'll have to get on the battlefield to do that. It's on him, first of all. Line them up. Okay, we did a little bit of damage. Let's drop that turret as a secondary. Okay, there we go. The turret should be doing some work. And fire some more rockets. Okay, we tipped him up into a complete mess. Beautiful. Rocket truck did a really good job in that situation. Okay, and we've got a kill assist. We've got one rocket launcher left. Turret is still down. But that needs to recharge. So we're in quite a vulnerable state here. Probably need to go for the cap at the moment. I'm not too sure. We've got one guy on their team. And he's took two of us out. And we've just been dominating. We've only lost two of our players. One of them being AI. So we'll just cap this zone. And so far, this truck seems quite successful. I think I'm going to need to test it in another game yet. So we'll continue to test out the larger vehicle. You can see we've got some hostiles here. So I'm just going to unleash the rockets at some range. See if we can get any hits on him. Oh, big damage. Beautiful. Let's continue working around the back here. Hopefully get behind the back of this ship. It's not really a flanking vehicle because it's so slow. But at the same time, if we can do it, we'll try it. Okay, big damage again. We'll drop a turret. Oh, God, that's not gun we want to see. Okay, so, oh, no, I think we've lost our rockets. Yes, we're getting all the damage done to us now. We need to get out of here rapidly. Our little turret's not going to be able to do too much to them. There we go, little turret. You you, you take care of them. While we get out of here, I'm on fire. We're completely ruined. Engine's damaged. Oh, here we go. He's going to come around and finish us off. Ah, hate rockets, even though I'm using them myself. Okay, please, teammates, this is where I need your assistance. Please, these guys, these rockets are coming. Oh, they're not coming for me. Whew. Oh, they went and blow that guy out the air. I'm just trying to escape. Okay, looks like we've escaped a few of them. The one with the big 88mm guns is, is still following us down, right? Look at look at what's left of our team. Just wheelless crafts. And I've got all the wheels, they've got all the guns. Okay, maybe we could flank around this way and try to draw them back to the cap zone. I don't know what that'll do. Nice side shot, line it up. Okay, a bit of damage. Let's see if we can do another one. Oh, yes, big damage, big damage, beautiful. Not really a sniping sort of rocket craft, but he's missed completely. Okay, more rockets going into him. Okay, this little guy down here is going to be the problem in a second. Yeah, definitely. Right, we'll drop a turret down behind him, and we'll try to swing in here with the rockets if we can. Okay, turret, where are you not doing? You're not helping me here, turret. No, no one's helping me. Okay, front armor's down. We're getting absolutely panned, though, by the look of it. We've lost wheels, but we're taking the hits. We're in our stride. Oh, we got wrecked. So this time, I'm trying to stay back with the team, not rush ahead of them, and use my rockets and my turret combo to support, rather than actually get stuck on the front line like I was doing before. Okay, so there we go. We've got a rocket barrage coming from that guy. Let's drop our turret down there to help out. Let's launch our rockets. Try to hit him. Do a little bit of damage. Right. Okay, there we go. A nice little bit of support and fire. Okay, we've got another big guy coming down here. We don't want him targeting us, so we're going to have to let these guys go first. Okay, doing big damage. We've still got both rockets. Okay, let this guy come through. He's got the big drills on the front that we don't really want to play with. So we need to take him out quite rapidly since he's one of them sort of rushing types. 
Okay, let's try doing a bit more damage to him. Yeah, we can chase this one down. There we go, enemy destroyed. We've got the Gatling gun guys that are going to be the problem here. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just not going to be able to turn around fast enough. They've got too much rapid fire in that combo. Yeah, that combo together of them two guys running around with that is just absolutely devastating. Right, so we're back in the garage. We've realised that this truck is pretty much useless. Um, it deploys the turret alright, and it deploys the rockets quite right, but I think we're just going to need to change the whole design. I'm just going to take the rockets off, for instance, because we've got a very solid sort of cab configuration. This whole area absorbs initial impacts of shells very well. Um, and you can edit this just by going around and pressing D and deleting the different parts you want. The rear area is alright for the moment. We'll keep the turret at the back. But let's actually start reinforcing the armor here at the front just to make it a little bit thicker. So let's see what we've got to do that. Uh, if we scroll down, we should have some intermediate sort of armor pieces. We'll select that one so we can do it. So we've got ramps, we've got square blocks, a whole variety of things that we can mess around with our vehicle. So we've got these that are pretty useful. Maybe we could do with a smaller square one. Let's just have a quick look what we've got. There we go. Small panel. Let's rotate that around and place one of them. Let's actually place two of them to protect the engine bay a little bit better. Maybe if we stick it down the side like so. Because this is the area that we need to protect, keep this engine running. Okay, so we'll control and copy another one of them panels in place. And finally here at the front, we'll just block that end in. Protect the engine again on this side with another two of the panels. Okay, third panel going in. And protect the engine bay with a fourth. Hang on, I think we've placed too many. We need to delete that one. So I've started modifying the truck into a little bit of a different manner. I've decided to put two of these 88mm cannons on instead. Um, I've put one machine gun on. I can't really decide if I want to put any of these special abilities on, like the radar and the other things that will help me spot. It'll probably be quite useful. Let's just take it for a little bit of a test drive in its most recent configuration. So you can see we've got not a massive arc of turning, but once we're actually set up in a position, our sniper rifles will target in, and we can unleash up to 600 damage per shot. We've also got the machine gun here, and we can fire another shot hopefully been able to snipe out and eliminate players from long range you know what we could do with though is um some sort of targeting reticle so we might have to get rid of that machine gun in favor of a targeting reticle for them long range crucial shots so that's what we'll do now so we'll head back to the garage we we'll go back into the build mode um get rid of this little turret for the moment we don't need that and we'll add ourselves a little bit of a remote targeting thing so we need to find the remote targeting is that what it's called it'd be nice targeting Maybe I'll just have to search for it the old manual way. See what we've got in the settings. There we go. It's called a sight. It couldn't be even more simple. So add that there on the front, and that should be able to aim for me now. So we'll do it a final test drive. Okay, so F is for the sight. And we can actually place that in. Oh, we actually missed. So let's just reload and fire again. So that seems like the sweet spot to aim at, somewhere up in the middle, when both of our cannons are aligned. So back to the aiming reticle. And we can just do so much damage to a target. Let's try targeting one of the cannons. Now we've got this precise aiming. Okay, very good sort of damage. So it's the first run out with the double sort of cannons. I can see some players on the radio off to the right. Let's see if we can actually get some shots on them. If we can, we might be able to sneak up behind them and get some really damaging ones. So there we go. Oh, fuck. Turn too far. Okay, panic shot there a little bit. Okay, a lot of damage. We need to get rid of that guy's guns, really, don't we? Okay, there we go. That's one gun down. Let's try getting rid of his track. Okay, that's done as well. Okay, he's pretty useless now. Let's just get rid of his um, other gun. Okay, no, he's not got rid of it. And that should be... Okay, we'll try getting rid of this guy a bit. I don't know. We've actually got the damage to do him. He's firing quite rapidly. But we're turning quite rapidly as well. Okay, that's a lot of damage. We're taking shots from the other tank still. Oh, we lost both our guns. This is we're absolutely useless now. Let's just try getting out of here. We should have took out that other guy. I shouldn't have left him to sit there and pick us off. This guy's shotguns haven't really done too much of the damage at all. Okay, he's dead. So this time I think we've got a nice little sniping position up here. We've just got to bear in mind that we've only got 13 shells, so we need to be quite smart with how we use them. So if I come up to this ridge like so and fire that first volley off, I need to hit my target. 666, number of the beast, beautiful. Okay, now that guy's going to get absolutely hammered if he waits up there too long. And I think he just received a little bit of fire. And we're just going to pop back up. Hopefully don't ram, in, don't ram into us, please. Okay, so we come into position. We're spotting him. We just need to precise our shot up very nicely. He's trying to lock us with the missiles, most likely. 309, front of the thing's gone off this little boat. And we fire at this guy. 308. Sorry, 338. 
precision shot again. Missed again. Okay, that guy can be eliminated, but he's only an AI. Just need to keep our eyes peeled so we can make these crucial shots if anyone pops up like that guy, for instance. Okay, so fire at him. Oh, shots went absolutely everywhere. We've got this wheel that's helping us be a bit more wonky. Okay, there we go. Oh, missed. Seven shots remaining. He's going to be back, though. And we've not really got the wheels to get us back up there. Okay, Stealther. Okay, 666 damage. Stealth has a lot of damage done to him. Let's see if we can get another shot on him. Okay, he was stealth, but he just wasn't stealth enough, I'm afraid. Okay, we've got Ryan. AI popped up over there. What's he actually done damage-wise to us? He just took off that armor that we put on the back before, luckily. Now, I have to say, I absolutely suck at cross out, or maybe I've just not found out a vehicle combo that really works for me just yet. Anyway, if you've got any ideas of how to build a better vehicle in this game, do let me know. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.